Uh, yes, the good old C4. No, I'm just kidding, guys, but seriously, it's probably one of the most fun and entertaining equipments uh, in Call of Duty history to use. But I will have to say it was overdone in Black Ops 2. I just think that it was just far too quick on the detonation. You could double tap X as soon as you threw it, and it blew up instantly. So that was a big problem. I thought it was uh, somewhat unbalanced. It was definitely overused, and you know, you can definitely tell by looking at the stats. Um, you know, it was just too used. It was too powerful for the average player to use. I think they had it. I think they had it pretty balanced, probably in Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 3. Was, it was okay. Uh, you know, my friend Rob he says it's kind of overpowered, but I think seeing as you can't really toss it far at all, and it does take quite a long time, I think they had it pretty fairly balanced. The explosion radius was pretty decent in Modern Warfare 3. I'm not gonna lie. I think it was a little bit higher than Call of Duty 4s, but I think in Call of Duty 4 you had a perk called uh, Sonic Boom which obviously that's the danger close except it wasn't nearly as ridiculous as it was in Modern Warfare 2 uh, but anyway this is a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay with the M60 you probably actually if you saw my Beast Mode Engage Volume 1 a uh, little montage I did there uh, this is actually a clip from it this was the whole gameplay so I wanted to showcase it to you guys because I thought it was a pretty good gameplay especially to be in face off trying to rush around with the M60 you know this gun's a big uh, behemoth of a weapon and definitely will weigh you down it's got a moderately good amount of recoil, so, you know, it's a pretty challenging weapon to use and actually rush with. You know, it's more of an, you know, obviously it's an LMG and it's not intended to be rushing with, but, uh, you know, it's fun to try and get some uh, kooky, wacky gameplay, so I've tried to mix it up for you guys instead of you guys just seeing a bunch of SMG and shotgun gameplay. I've got plenty more. I've got a bunch more just from that session Rob and I had. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been commenting on that uh, Modern Warfare 2 video. For those of you, you know, haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. It's going to be at the end of this video on my, uh, previous two videos you know at the very end there's always for those of you who actually watch after the commentary is over there's a little outro it's about 20 seconds long you can click on um, my music providers channel which uh, actually in the intro music of this was um, his name is Jordan Vandy go check his channel out he's got a bunch of uh, cool instrumental beats I don't know uh, if he still has some of the beats that he had where he had uh, some people kind of like you know rapping he had some people that had, did some lyrics with it too in some of his beats so I don't know if he has it on his channel. You should definitely go uh, show his channel some love and tell him B sent you. So, you know, that's that. Um, it also has my channel in the uh, top of the outro. And then it, uh, of course, has my two previous videos. Sometimes I like to put a random video at the bottom one. But generally, they're the past two videos. So if you guys had missed it, that's good because, you know, YouTube sub boxes aren't exactly uh, the most fully functioning right now, as most of you know. And I'm not going to gripe and complain about them because I understand that, YouTube is, you know, supposedly under maintenance right now, and there's a lot of reasons why it probably is really buggy right now. One of them being YouTube probably doesn't necessarily have the uh, best amount of funds to support it. I'm not sure if they do. They probably do, but who knows. I know it costs quite a bit of money to run all the accounts and servers and all that, and I wouldn't go into detail because I don't exactly know if my information is correct. So I don't want to really go into it, but I can guarantee you that it's definitely a, a pretty costly thing to run all these servers and all these YouTube accounts. And that's actually kind of what I want to talk about really quickly in this commentary. This is a shorter commentary, but, you know, nonetheless, I want to get into the subject. So, what do you guys think about all these new commentators? I know a lot of people have been talking about the built-in game capture cards on the new consoles. A lot of people have been talking about it. And uh, from what a lot of people have been rumoring, you know, they said that you could upload it straight to YouTube, supposedly. Or, you know, that's possible rumors. It could be incorrect. Um, you know, what's my opinion on it? I think it's actually not that good of a thing because... That's, you know, pretty much at that point, anybody can be a uh, gameplay, you know, post gameplay on YouTube. And why I see this as a problem, I know a lot of you think, well, you know, some people may not be able to afford it, and that gives, you know, other people uh, that actually have good content a chance. It does to an extent. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know exactly if you can edit, which I'm sure you can't on the new consoles. Consoles aren't really meant to be like PCs, they're just kind of uh, gaming um, center links, you know, the game on there. That's exactly what their intended use is. Nothing really more. Of course, the Xbox One has uh, been pushing the envelope on, you know, some of the other entertaining aspects as far as TV goes and stuff. I don't know about the PS4 because I haven't really looked into either one of the consoles, but you guys can kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about. They're not really a computer. A computer does much more than a console can do. Uh, so, that being said, 
they can't really edit their gameplay, and the file size is going to be pretty ridiculous. So, you know, I just, um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comments about, like, uh, what you think, how YouTube is going to be affected by all the new upcoming commentators or upcoming uh, people that post gameplay. You know, I just kind of want to get your guys' opinions, so let me know down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. You guys, of course, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.